Hello, what's up? It is time for episode 9. To recap the last episode, I fought the wither like an absolute boss. I was pro it's probably one of my favorite episodes, actually. Um, I worked really hard on that one, so yeah, beat the wither. It was very epic. So for this episode, I'm going to unveil a secret project that I have been thinking about for literally a year. I've been really hesitant on this because it's a massive, massive undertaking. But I, and I, because, and if I announce it, which in this video, then I have to commit to it. First though, I want to kind of uh, go over and tell you what I've been up to because I have been quite uh, busy. I got a lot of tips in the comments. Somebody let me know that it's better to have just prop four instead of one of each, which is what I had before, which is what I thought you were supposed to do. Uh, it's better to just have prop four all around. So that's what I have now. I have prop four on everything um, so yeah and that was a lot of uh, just a lot of talking to villagers to trade and a big thing was that it took a lot of fucking XP and um, what is this you might be asking well this was actually part of my uh, secret secret project is I made an XP farm. That backup armor yeah well I re-enchanted all of that and I got all of these things I didn't have to do change my coconut holder luckily but I had to change all of these so these are this is all new armor and my old armor is now my backup armor okay so that was that uh, another thing that I've been super busy with is I built a path to the village. I was getting pretty sick of um, having to run back and forth to the village and so then I just, I, I don't know, I knew that the village was going to be nearby so I just uh, made a portal and that's where the village is and I'll put the clip here. I made a little path down there and I'm gonna go back home because I'm scared. I want to unveil the secret project. I've been, you know, thinking about this. But basically, to give you a little bit of background, my plan for my house was to build it, kind of do the, the hermit craft formula, which is where they build a starter house and then they make a mega build. And that was my plan. I was like, okay, you know, I even refer to this as a starter house in my earlier episodes. Um, but it turns out that I really like living here and I don't want to leave for a long time. I still want to make a giant build, but um, like I've been practicing doing test builds just for fun in like a test world. Um, turns out I'm really fucking bad at building. <laughs> I'm really bad at mega builds and so I need to practice more. I just don't have the skill set yet and so I don't see myself making a big build for another while. Like I don't know. I just not I'm not ready for it yet. But I still want to make a very big build. I still want to try making one gigantic structure. So I had this idea and this is gonna sound absolutely wild. Why don't I make a big ball? You know, PewDiePie has a song in Mine All Day, he says Bitch, you don't have the biggest ball the world has seen And I was like, why don't I just take that as a challenge? Why don't I upstage PewDiePie and make the biggest ball in the world and make a ball from bedrock to build height 100% in survival? 
Nobody's done this before. I looked it up. Nobody's done this on the internet. People have made some pretty fucking big balls, but nobody has ever made a bedrock to build height ball. Hey, it's me. I'm editing. Uh, I forgot to say this in the video, but yes, I am aware that the 1.17 update will be changing the build height. Uh, y equals zero will no longer be the lowest and Y256 will no longer be the highest. That being said, I'm still going to be building a ball from 0 to 256 just because the update's not coming out until like literally winter. Um, it's going to be like, probably like eight months or something like that. So I'm just going to build a ball for the current build height. And then maybe in the future, if I really want to, and uh, there's software that will give me like a layout that I can follow then maybe I'll do it because a big part of it is the reason I'm doing it from this build height is because uh, I have plots.co.uk which like gener has already generated a ball that size so I'm gonna just be following that pattern. I want to make a big fucking ball. I want to have the biggest ball in the world, okay? This is a four phase plan, okay? So phase one is I'm gonna need to make an XP farm because I know that it's gonna shred through my pickaxe with the amount of mining that I'm gonna have to do to make a giant hole for something that's gonna go from bedrock to build height. And so I built the XP farm, which is what I showed you at the beginning. The next thing is that I'm gonna make a big square. Basically, I'm gonna need a 256 by 256 square, right? Because the bedrock to build height is 256 tall and so um, that's that's the diameter. You know, the height is the diameter, so is the width and the everything. It's a circle, it's a fucking circle. If you don't know how circles work, I can't help you. So I'm gonna have to make a giant square. And then another thing is that I'm gonna have to engage in very severe deforestation. That's gonna be the first thing, is build a giant square and then get rid of all of the jungle which is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Even in creative mode, I fucked around to see like what's the best way to do it. It's so painful to do. So um, it's going to be really difficult in survival. Phase two is I'm going to fucking dig a giant hole. <laughs> I just need to make a, I need to make a big hole. Phase three is to actually build the ball. And then phase four, I called elevation, which is going to be to make it a nice uniform color. A big thing is that I needed the beacon. We're gonna bring that with us. All of this fucking iron, this this iron took a million years to get, but I got all this iron, I got the beacon. I'm ready. And here's another thing, I didn't know that you could get fa a faster horse. And so I fucked around, I was like, you know what, I, I really like my other horse, whatever his name was, horse cow, but I wanted a faster horse. And so I found this one, and I named him Jockstrap because I couldn't think of a better name. I was originally gonna name it Pinot Grigio, but I don't actually drink wine. This one doesn't have a name yet. If anyone wants to give him a name, let's do that. This horse and Jockstrap are the same speed. Uh, this one only has an extra little heart. Jockstrap can clear three block jumps. I tested it. Here is my campsite, because I'm not fucking running home every time it's, it's nighttime and I'd like to just live somewhere. So I built this little tent. This is from, oh God, what, okay, I'll put the name of the person that I got the build I, uh, from on the screen. I really love the look of this tent. So I just wanted to have a nice little um, tent to live in, purple, obviously. Uh, and I really love the bed because it looks like a sleeping, like it looks like a like a sleeping mat thingy. I mean, it's, it's just a regular bed and it's just slabs, but it looks like a sleeping mat, which is really fun. I wanna start the square. So it's gonna be 256 in that direction, then 256 in that direction, and then, you know, 256 and 256 again. And then once I have that layout, that's gonna be the basically the diameter, right? The like widest, thickest part of the build is gonna be at Y equals 128. The widest part is not gonna be at build level, but I think that it'd be nice to have just a huge hole and then I'll put a sketch on screen as to how I think I want it to look. But yeah, so I thought I'm gonna start building that way. I hope that makes sense. Okay, here's our first example of what I'm gonna have to go through, what I'm putting myself through willingly. Why? 
because I'm fucking nuts, bro. I don't know. Yeah, the only reason I want to do this is because I just want to try a mega build. I want to just try to do something. You know, um, I figured this would be a fun first project. I don't want to think about how many blocks it's going to take. The thing that's the most intimidating to me, apart from actually building it, is that I don't know how to capture this because I want to record it, obviously. Like, I was thinking of doing a gigantic time lapse but it's like, I don't know if my laptop can handle that. Like, it's gonna take so much. Like, I run out of space really quickly. Um, so it's like, okay, maybe I could live stream the process. But the thing is that my internet's absolute fucking garbage. So I think that, it, like, I don't think I can live stream. Like, that was the reason that it took me so long to even do this video is because I was like, I kind of want to live stream this. I think that'd be very epic, but like, I don't know, I just, I have sh really shitty internet. See? Night has fallen. It's our first night in the tent. I might not, like, film the deforestation, but I definitely want to do the big ball building. Boom. Okay, now we have our beacon. I activated the beacon. Why am I not getting an achievement? Uh, no. Construct and place a beacon. Bring a beacon to full power. Do I have to do something? Haste two. Oh yeah, baby. Why didn't I get the achievement, bro? What if I like, maybe if I Okay then, interesting. Uh, yay! And I have, yeah, haste two. So, that's what I needed. I'm ready to, to, to start this monumental task I have given myself. So, 256 blocks in, it's four stacks. First, I just wanna make us an area with a bunch of double chests. Ooh, how about I try the, the mining? Woo! Oh my god, that is wild. I've always seen people do this in videos, but like, bro, you need to even go into, if you haven't done this yet, you need to just go into creative mode. If you haven't done this in survival, if you can't do this in survival, just do this and then give yourself a beacon and then just try this. This is so much fun, oh my god. Just have the experience. Although ideally you should do it in survival because it's really fun to have that payoff. Woo! It's gonna be hollow by the way. It's not gonna be like solid. I, I'm not, I do not have the patience for that. Boom. One block, one block of 64, two, three, four. There you go. I already have my full blocks. It's a crazy project. And the thing is, is that by making it public, I have therefore doomed myself to doing it. I can't back out now. Hey, we got our first. First block. I don't know if I should be like just going down or if I should just get up there. I think I'm gonna get up here. And just start. props to Mojang, they're um, like postponing the release of the 1.17 update and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of them, you know, for actually giving a shit about their workers health, like to giving a shit about the team, the Mojang team. <music> going 
came to me making the ball like one color. I'm just gonna make it a nasty gigantic ball with just a bunch of different things, just different blocks, wood, stone, whatever the hell, everything, even, even di maybe not diorite, but maybe even diorite, you know, cause it's just gonna be, it's gonna be so many fucking blocks. <laughs> six blocks wide you know what's crazy that is okay i did the math that's 16 chunks wide that's crazy and then it has to be six and the thing is that you know what's here you go escape you know what my uh render distance isn't even as big as the diameter of the the ball from the design of the original is I added this so it looks like a zipper. <laughs> completely fucking ignore it.
quickly. 2698. Fuck yeah, baby. I am a genius mathematician. Einstein, move over. <laughs> See if my calculations were correct. Let's hope they were, because if they're not right, if I can't get this right, oh my god, I'm gonna, I don't even want to know how difficult it's gonna be for me to do the ball itself. If I can't get this right, oh god, okay. Uh oh, I think I'm wrong. I think my calculations are in, yep, they're wildly incorrect. How did I fuck this up? First of all, they're not even right. Oh god, how did I fuck it up? How did I fuck it up? How did I fuck this up? I would like to know. How did I get that wrong? What did I do wrong? Please someone let me know. Someone meaning me? Me at me? How did, what did I fuck up here? Okay, so. Whatever. I, f I fucked something up, I don't know how or where. Oh, actually, I should take note of the coordinates. That's actually very important. Ocelot. I don't have a fish, but... There's- I saw an ocelot. Don't ocelots just turn into cats when you tame them? There's another one. Okay, hold on. Fuck this. I want- I want to say hello to the ocelot. <gasps> There's a whole family! Oh, I'm gonna tame the child. Are you tamed? I fucking tamed the kid, I'm kidnapping your child. Oh my god, are you really this slow? Do I have an, do I have an extra lead in my house? I do! I came so prepared. Wait, why are you down there? You know what, bud? You can hang out in the camp and you can just chill in here. Can I get you to like sit down? There you go. That is the big ass square. Anyways, that was that. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll let you know if I ever decide to stream. I don't know if I will, but I'll let you know if I do. Um, I'll try to set it up and yeah, uh, that's it. Peace.